What's up, Lorehounds? It's Cooper here. I'm inside the Twitch TV booth, but we're actually with Todd Harris, the CEO of High Res Studios. So, you guys are actually, let's start with what's going on right behind us, a tournament, uh, 20K? Yeah, 20K, we're just about to start uh, the second day of round robin matches. So we've got the four best teams in North America that were invited here at PAX, and they're all playing on LAN. Um, so we've basically got uh, Dignitas, Cognitive Gaming, uh, Denial Esports, and Reason Gaming all playing. And so Smites Esports is doing pretty well. Have you guys, I mean, so this weekend, is there like a team that's really kicking butt, really cohesive, or is it kind of just general pro gamer style right now? Well, I mean, I would say the going in favorite is probably Team Dignitas. We've been running weekly tournaments. As you know, every Saturday we've been running a North American tournament. So these teams have faced one another for a while now. Sunday we uh, do the European side of things. So um, the leader in the scoreboard right now is Dignitas, um, and they have uh, played together for a while, have really strong play calling. But it, it really is anyone's tournament. So uh, we'll see what happens. So. The esports scene, it's it's fairly even across North America and Europe, with Europe having a slight advantage, right? There's a couple more teams, more organization there? That's right, yeah. Both in terms of just even player population, uh, Smite right now is uh, almost 50-50 split, but slightly more for Europe, and we see the same thing in terms of esports. So there's a number of uh, strong organizations, and on the weekend tournaments, they get slightly higher participation right now. So, so actually, last week, you guys had a big announcement in esports. Um, and in general for Smite, you're actually going to Asia. Yeah, that's right. It's pretty exciting. So we're partnering up with Tencent Games. And uh, if you haven't heard of them, you should Google them. They're uh, pretty enormous in online gaming. Uh, obviously, they have uh, experience with other MOBAs, specifically League of Legends. But for us, it's exciting because they know MOBA, they know online gaming, and they really allow distribution into a huge PC game market that we couldn't do by ourselves. So you guys actually had some problems with Hindu and Hindu gods because it's a religion that's still practiced. And China's been known to also have some issues with you know pandas and Warcraft and zombies and stuff like that. So are, are you guys worried about that? Because since you do have a Chinese pantheon? We're not at all worried. I mean, it's a big opportunity. You're right in that there are definitely different cultural considerations for every single market. And so for China, specifically, things like uh, exposed bones are not appropriate. So uh, the god Hades would be one example where that would be something where we would ha want to have at least a different default skin for that market. But as far as gods, we, we had Chinese gods from the very beginning. And actually, that market has been very, very receptive, and I would say excited, about the inclusion of those gods. So, so what we've been doing is actually working closely with Tencent to try to make sure the Smite gods are as authentic for that market as possible. So early on, you know, we took Sun Wukong out of the game. Uh, people liked his kit, so we brought him back as Hun Bot, a Mayan god, but we kind of missed the mark on Sun Wukong. You know, we made him a, a circus monkey instead of a warrior monkey. And uh, so the new Sun Wukong is built, he's got cut abs, you know, really beefy arms, but he still has a monkey's head, and he just more matches what Chinese players, or really anyone familiar with the lore of the god, would expect. On the on the Smite market, we've actually, as outside the esports, you guys released a bunch of new patches lately. Obviously, we got the new gods, but you redid the conquest uh, zone, the, all the art. You redid the UI, the user interface, the store, like the whole storefront. Are you guys getting that close to launch now? Like, can we really start <laughs> expecting that beta tag to finally go away? No date yet, you know, keep working on that cacodemon skin. Um, <laughs> you know, it's a when it's ready sort of thing, but you're right in that we definitely want the quality of the game to be very, very high. Um, and so not only new gods and, and focus on balance and competitive play, but we are, have hit each of the maps, as you said, redid, you know, everything in Conquest map, gave it a very different theme. We've been actually polishing Arena even since then. So Joust, Arena, Conquest, and the UI all getting an overhaul. And that's because the game is still growing. So could we expect any upcoming game modes or are we kind of like done with that as you push to final? So um, we're not looking for any new game modes that are always on the queue, but we did last week um, talk about the next big uh, change, I guess, for Smite as far as game modes, and that is technical support for 10 versus 10, which is not something you see in MOBAs, and it's just crazy in the studio. I mean, 10 alts on top of each other is just insane. I want to see 10v10 pre-mates. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
I think that would be nuts. Aries just all after all after all. Many circle art. So uh, the way we're going to actually do the um, 10 versus 10 is we won't have an, a, a separate map or mode for it, at least not initially, but we have match of the day functionality in the game, as you know. And so what we'll do is uh, it'll basically be a configurable flag that we can turn on for match of the day. To begin with, it'll be a chaotic, fairly spammy, but a lot of fun uh, diversion for players. It's a match of the day. It's supposed to just be ridiculous fun. Yeah, you only got it today. It's gone tomorrow. So, All right, Todd. Thanks so much, Smite. Moving forward as usual, I really love the game. I need to get some skins and, and stuff, but uh, we actually have some Kali skins for you, so be sure to hit the stream and the Twitter because we dump them randomly throughout the year. Anyways, thanks so much. All right, thanks, Lorehound. Appreciate it.